Let's review math, grade 4, module 5, lesson 38. Fraction equivalence, ordering, and operations. Topic G, repeated addition of fractions as multiplication. So in this example, we're going to identify the unknown factors. So if 5 times 8 and 1 fifth is equal to this side, then what would I be multiplying the 8 by, and what would I be multiplying the 1 fifth by? Well, we're distributing, right? So we're taking 8 and 1 fifth, and we're breaking it into two parts. We're taking our whole number and putting it here, and we're taking our fractional part, and we're putting it over here. So what are we multiplying 8 and 1 fifth by? We're multiplying it by 5. So a 5 would go here, and a 5 would go here. So let's show this with a tape diagram. So here I have a tape diagram that shows 8 and 1 fifth. My 8 holes and my fractional piece of 1 fifth. Now I am multiplying 8 and 1 fifth times 5. I'm making 5 copies of 8 and 1 fifth. So instead of having one of these, I'm going to have five of these. One, two, three, four, five. So this is representing what we have on this side of the equal sign. Five copies of eight and one fifth. But when we use the distributive property and we broke apart eight and one fifth into eight plus one fifth, then we needed to multiply each of our parts by 5. So when I multiply 8 times 5, my tape diagram looks like this. And when I multiply 1 fifth times 5, my tape diagram looks like this. If I were to put these together, they equal the same amount as this side. 8 times 8 and 1 fifth. Let's take a look at another one. Here we have 4 times 9 and 3 fourths. So if I want to think about having 9 and 3 fourths and then making 4 copies of it, my tape diagram would look like this. And I'm going to put that on the side and we're going to think about this with multiplication. So 4 times 9 and 3 fourths. I want to take my 9 and 3 fourths and break it up into 9 plus 3 fourths. Then I can multiply 4 times 9 plus 4 times 3 fourths. So when I multiply 4 times 9, that's 36. And when I multiply 4 times 3 fourths, well, I multiply my whole number by the numerator and I get 12 and they would be fourths. 4 times 3 is 12. 4 times 3 fourths is 12 fourths. So I would have 4 times 9 is 36. 4 times 3 fourths is 12 fourths. So when I see 12 fourths, I know that this is a fraction greater than 1. 4 fourths plus 4 fourths plus 4 fourths is 12 fourths. So it is equal to 3. So what I really have here is 36 plus 3. 36 plus 3 is equal to 39. So 4 times 9 and 3 fourths is equal to 39. All right, that's going to take care of things for lesson 38 where we've been working to find the product of a whole number and a mixed number using the distributive property.